Well, hello everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page seven. We're just moving right along here. I think I've got some things inked. Others we might have to ink. For example, I think I've got to trim this. That's not the right pattern. Never mind. <laughs> I have to trim it to fit. Okay. So sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> that has been the hardest thing about COVID. I I can't get over how it's messing with my memory, my short-term memory. I can't hold a thought. It's that's a hard it's a hard thing to describe, but it's almost like uh, a mild state of confusion. Anybody out there who's had COVID probably knows what I'm talking about. It's very hard to describe. Um but I, I feel very fortunate. I had a what I think is a relatively mild case. I had some fevers, and it actually felt more like a stomach flu, so gastrointestinal issues, and not a lot, not horrible chest pains, which I guess is the worst of it. So I felt fairly lucky. I'm fairly certain my. Uh, 20 year old son drug it home from a concert. But what do you do? Everybody was 20 at once. I mean, at one time. So, okay. So the pattern we're going to put over here. So this is the, um, the accompanying page. So I want to pull this pattern back in. As soon as I find a scrap. Um, I thought I'd already trimmed that out, but I, I don't see it. I know I have enough paper for it. I just, I'd rather use a scrap than cut through a 12 by 12. So sorry about the shuffling. I'll be back in a second. I did have it. I just moved it to another table. You know, organizing. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it really is. It's just shuffling. There's a song that goes like that. My son used to play it in middle school. Every day I'm shuffling. That's what it feels like. I'm just moving things from one place to another. I'm not actually getting rid of anything or resolving anything. Okay, so we have the vertical stripes here, here, this pattern here, here. I'm going to add some ink. We'll lay this down, and that will be page seven. Did you guys hear me counting off the pages in my head? One, two, three, because I was. I actually, when I go away and take a break for a couple of hours, I have to really think about where, where I was. And it's, like I said, worse now with COVID. It's a real chore. All right, yay. Now I know I've already trimmed and cut the map. I'm going to go on to this page. And that's one. Although I think I'm gonna change it out. I think it's too, too stripey, stripey. And then, actually that's not true. It's not true at all, is it? I don't think I do have my mats. Um, done for this page. Yes, I do. That's one of the mats. And I think I'll make the second, I was originally planning on this, but I think that's just too much. So I'm going to pull in a blue here, but we are going to use this one. And let me think about this for a second. So this is two and this is three. So the opening will be on this side. So I'm going to glue these three sides so that you can actually tuck something on the inside of this if you want. I don't know if I will, but I'll have the option. So I'm gonna glue three of the four. And I want it to open this way, and the reason I do is because the spine's right here. It's very hard to take something out of a pocket against the spine. Much easier to take it out of the pocket 
when it's uh, on the away side of the page. And I just made that up, away side. <laughs> the outside. Okay, so these three are sealed. This is open to use as a pocket. I'm going to pick a blue. I don't like that. I think I'm going to pick a dark blue. So this needs to be four by four. Let's do that. And I want it to be, you know, very simple. I think photo mats should be pretty simple. So basically your image is going to go on these two pieces. So I chose the dark blue, which I think looks better. This is four by four. This is four by six. So I need to do a photo mat for the four by four. There we go. And I need to ink it. Okay, that needs to be a little bit smaller. There we go. Ink. I think it's about time for me to get a new powder puff. There, they have this sweet spot. <laughs> And it's like a 33, 33, 33. And the first third, it's too wet. <laughs> the last third, it's too dry. And in the middle is just right. And I think anybody who uses these knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have two options. We have this or this. And I really like the dark blue, but because I'm already using the background pattern, I wish I would have thought this through. I think I'm going to use this. Oops, it's a little bit crooked. There we go. All right, so this is going to go down here. And I always mat them on the black because I I really feel like it elevates the design. When you put a print on a print, even when it's inked, it's just, it's just not the same. Hard to describe. So I'm going to put this down as low as possible so that when you put your photo in here, you have the option to either tuck it behind this or lay it on top. And at the moment, I'm going to go over these three sides, okay? And leave that very top open so you have choices. And then I'm just going to do a diagonal. So I'm going to glue these parts down, to, but make sure that it's open right here so that you can uh, tuck something in there if you want to. Let dry for a second. Let's see, so you can either do this or this. You have some options. So though, when you're staggering things like this, you just might want to think about where, you know, your photo is going to land on that collage, because that's essentially what this is: is a a simple collage or layers. So do you want your photo to go over this or under this? And it's like um, maybe the lower 20% of the photo, so it might be dead space anyway. So now you have the option to choose. Okay, so that is page, I gotta count through my head again, seven, page seven, so it actually goes this way. That's six, that's seven. Okay, I'll be back soon with page eight. We're almost done.